Здравствуйте, уважаемые посетители сайта goodgame.ru. У нас наверняка сторожилы узнали двух замечательных игроков, братьев Люцифрона и Вортекса. И сейчас мы поговорим. Они, к сожалению, проиграли на мероприятии вот, по Heroes of the Storm и немножко расстроены. Но, надеюсь, мы с ними нормально пообщаемся. So, you both decided uh, to leave StarCraft 2, unfortunately, and uh, why uh, did you make that decision? Well, in my case, I, I had been like really unmotivated with the game for, for like a whole year, for the whole 2014. So when, the, when I got access to the Alpha Furious of the Storm, I started playing just for fun. And eventually I realized that I had much more fun from playing than from StarCraft 2. So, you know, I just thought that even if the game was like much smaller at that point, I think it's better to just go for what you like and what you enjoy the most. I hadn't enjoyed the Starker for a long time, so I just thought it was obvious to to change. So in my case, I quit Starcraft and eSports like in late 2013 or at the very beginning of 2014. So I didn't play anything for like five, six months. Then yeah, I started playing Heroes as well with my brother and it was fun. And eventually uh, I was in a team playing tournaments. So yeah, it wasn't really planned, nor did I quit Starcraft to play Heroes. It just happened that way. Do you started to play uh, together just from uh, from the beginning? Yeah, we started playing like together since the first day of of the alpha, and with some other Spanish mates from StarCraft. And yeah, we just started to play since the very beginning, and then eventually we made a team. Um, uh, why? Uh, Heroes of the Storm uh, at the present moment is not so popular as other MOBA games. What do you think? What is? What are the reasons? Well, I mean, the the main reason is that it's really new. Like I think the game came out I don't know three or four months ago or something like that. So yeah, I mean, I think just just give it time. I I know Blizzard will probably make its best to to make it a big esport, and I think with time it, it will happen. Like the game is really funny, and if you know you are sharing it with. Uh, People related to esports, eventually they will get into it, and I think it's it's just a matter of time. And of course, I mean Blizzard has to do something; like they have to to make really good events and really make it uh, likable for people. So, but I think eventually it will happen. Like the game has everything; it, it needs to be a big esport. And uh, what uh, the game has to what what uh, qualities of the game? I, I mean, I think the best part about it is that. It's not like the conventional mobile. Like it has a lot of different maps and a lot of different objectives. So every game is like um, very different from another one. And I don't know. There's like a lot of action since the very first minute. And like some mobas that uh, are just lane facing for I don't know 15 minutes and just 10 kills or in a 50 minute game or so. I think that doesn't happen in Heroes. There's a lot of of action mm -hmm. all the game long. So I, I think that's something people will definitely enjoy. Uh, do you have favorite heroes? For example, top top three favorite heroes. Um, so <coughs> my favorite hero used to be Chen, but lately I haven't been able to play him that much. But he's my favorite hero, and then I would say maybe Muradin and Johanna probably. Yeah, a heroes with a lot of CC and that can yeah initiate fights and so on. Yeah, for me, I think my favorite one is Lost Vikings. Just since the very first day, I, I enjoyed the champion a lot. I think it's pretty cool to have a champion with those mechanics in MOBA. And then, I don't know, I really like Mark, even though <laughs> they never allow me to play it in, in the team. And I don't know what else. I, I think I really love Bala. Bala seems, I mean, it's like the standard carry, but it seems quite funny, at least for me. Uh, as a team, uh, you... Uh sometimes have difficult situations uh, for example when you have to make some decision for example to choose uh, some hero or not uh, who has uh, between you the final word I think uh, everyone has like the like the same mm -hmm. like I mean we listen to everyone like it's not that there's one guy that always drafts or always do, does the calls Like uh, the whole team gives his opinion, and then we just do what the majority thinks is better. Okay. Uh, what do you think about uh, Korean scene in Heroes of the Storm? Uh, are they as strong as in strategy games? Yeah, I mean, I think they are the best region by far, both in level of play and in 
in tournaments organization. I mean, their tournaments are just uh, really, really cool. Like the organization and anything. Like they have a lot of viewers also and stuff. Like in presential events, not only online. And yeah, I mean, overall the, their level is just much better than Europe or America for sure. And uh, as far as I know, in StarCraft 2, in the beginning, uh, it was the difference between levels uh, in Europe and in, in Korea wasn't as big as today. So if uh, Koreans just now uh, are already uh, so strong, uh, don't you afraid that in, in a year or some larger period they will kill everyone in the world? I mean, I, I think it's probably likely that will happen. I mean, it happens in League of Legends, it happens in, in StarCraft 2. Koreans are just really good because, I mean, they are also like really professional and they practice a lot. And I mean, right now I think they are really good, but I also think they are beatable. Like, mm -hmm. I think if uh, top European teams play their very best, they, there are chances of winning top Korean teams. But yeah, I think eventually that will change and Koreans will dominate, like, most likely. Uh, what do you think about balance in the game? And uh, if it's possible, can you point out some uh, some obviously Im imbalance here? Uh, for the balance, it's very hard because since it's a team game, like I don't know, like some heroes are very strong in a meta. Like for instance, Sonia is very strong right now, I think, or Zeratul is always strong. But it's very hard to talk about imbalance because I don't know. Like one hero can be strong by itself, but in order to be in balance, I think you have to find some combo or whatever. And I don't really think that's the case in heroes. Like any composition you can think of, you can think of, of another that can beat it. So I don't really know. Yeah, some heroes are very strong. Some heroes are too weak, like Gaslowy, Marky. But I don't think there's one hero that is just too strong for the game. Yeah, I mean, I think in in ladder, in hero league, for example, there are some heroes that are maybe a bit more strong than other ones, like for example, the Origo or Kel'Thas or Jaina. But then when you are playing against a well-organized team and stuff, um, it always depends in every team's comp. So I think in professional level, the game is pretty okay balanced, but I think there are also some champions like, I don't know, Gasly, for example, or uh, Thrall maybe, even though we are seeing him in some games lately, that should be really reworked or buffed in some way because they haven't been in the meta for forever. Are you playing to uh, play Legacy of the Void? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually play some games from time to time, like when I'm a bit tired of heroes or stuff, just... I mean, the games are short, so it's good to play. What about you? Yeah, I've been playing some games as well, like in the beta. Yeah. But I don't know, it, I, it feels bad, <laughs> like, I'm not that good. Like, yesterday I was playing, for instance, and I lost to... I was... I don't know, it, he was a grandmaster, but I, I still felt that once it got to the late game, I was too slow. So I don't know. Maybe I will play more, yeah, maybe. <laughs> But uh, you're not planning to um, come back to StarCraft 2 after the add-on will... Yeah. I don't know, I mean, you, you never know. <laughs> I, guess, I guess there's always the, the chance that that uh, I come back, but uh, I'm not really sure. Like for now, I really enjoy Heroes of the Storm and I'm going to keep playing for the near future. Uh, have you tried Overwatch? No, no, I did, didn't get the chance to play it just yet, but I'm actually quite hyped with it. If you are a player or press, you can pass through the queue and uh, try it easily. Yes, I guess <laughs> I probably should go later. <laughs> okay, um, and uh, the last, I guess, uh, question: um, What uh, were the reasons uh, of your loss today? What do you think? I don't know. It's for the last month or something. We've been not able to beat Dignitas like Bob. Like they beat us twice in the Enter the Storm, and they beat us twice here today. So I don't know. Like we've been playing worse, I think, for the last month or two months. But this team is very hard for us. So I, I don't really know. Like I think the last game of the last series, like our draft was bad, I would say. And then in game we didn't perform that good, so we just lost. But overall, I don't know. It feels like very close all the time, like always two one to one, but we don't really beat them. Yeah, I mean, we've been struggling a bit for the last two months or so, and it's really hard for us to beat Dignitas. And in order to to get through the group stage, we had to win them, to win them twice. So I mean, it it was just really really hard, and it didn't work. Out. Okay, uh, last words to your fans, sponsors, and w whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, just uh, uh, just want to thank 
all the all the supporters that we have. I, I hope they still do after this tournament, even though it was a disappointing performance. But yeah, just thanks to him, to Team Liquid, our sponsors, thanks to everyone for the support. Yeah, well, <laughs> Great. Thank you for the interview.